Ahoy there, YouTube. We're back again for more of our Essen Origins Bonanza Explosion Blood coverage. You're like Origins 2019 here with my good friend Adam. Hello there. And we're playing all the games and telling you about them and letting you know what we think. So, right now we tried an upcoming game called Foodies from Simon. This is for two to five players. Ages 14 plus, 20 to 30 minutes. We played a four player game of it. He described it as a Machi Koro esque filler game where on your turn you are going to roll a d10 die and you are going to get a number on it. And you're going to have this board in front of you that's going to have nine different locations on it. And when you first start, if you roll a certain location, you'll get one or two coins, pretty much. But then you're going to start accruing money and using that money to purchase cards to place on those numbers and upgrade those spots. Uh, along the way, uh, you're, you're going to be making different types of food in your nine grids. The themes, it's here, but it's not really strong. Um, but those are gonna have various different icons on them that might give you stars, they might give you more money. Uh, if you accomplish a certain task that might be easy, might be difficult, it will give you a certain thing, like there's the American food that you had, which if you had the most of it, you'd get three bucks every time it popped USA, up. USA, USA. Yeah, I had one where the, uh, the number of jalapenos I had would give me a dollar for each jalapeno. So there was a couple different strategies that you could take. Uh, that was variable as well. I think there was 10 different, yeah, 10 different types of food and you use five every game, so there's a good deal of variability. It's gonna be mixed up a little bit each game. Uh, there's some special ability tokens, some fort tokens that would let you kind of manipulate uh, where you landed a little bit. Uh, Is there anything else you really feel like we should tell them? Um, it, uh, no. No, I think that's pretty much the whole game. I mean, it is there a lighter weight filler. Not Whatever. It is a lighter weight filler game, so that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, so what'd you think about it? Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, there was a lot of variability in it. There were, uh, you know, I started looking at it and there were other countries' foods that we didn't even use. Yeah. And you can switch them out as much as you want. I don't know, can you play with all of them? Did he mention that? No, I think you always choose five, I think you said. Yeah, okay. and there are how many? Ten or so? Ten. Yeah. So, so lots of variability. Uh, each game is going to be different. You know, there's uh, a market that you're using. It, it, I think to describe it as Machi Koro esque is uh, a misnomer because the, the stacking it does was not really feel, it does not feel like Machi Koro at all because so stacking like, was the big thing with Machi Koro right yeah yeah but <laughs> yeah it, it's not like Machi Koro the Do, only, don't don't think of Machi Koro when you're thinking of this game and I think that is fair now that you say that I, I think you upgrade spots and that's about it yeah and you roll the dice it's, it's nine <laughs> spots. It's not like you're trying to stack them on top of each other and stuff, and hey, you know this one's giving more for that one. Like if that happens, but it's it's much simpler. It's not uh, drawn out like uh, like previous, you know, like Machikoro. Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> what did you think about the game? So you, you enjoyed it? Though. I I enjoy it. Yes, I thought it was very good. I would rather play this game than Machikoro. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to continue. I only played Machikoro. I think two or three times. It was quite a long time ago. I'll say this thing's had a couple really good things going for it. You mentioned the variability. Artwork's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Really spectacular artwork. Looked like they ripped it straight out of an a, a animated movie. Like a nice animated movie. Uh, the rules were very well done. It was short. I feel like this is a very easy game to learn and to teach. Uh, I, I feel like the rules were pretty simple. Yeah. Yes, we did have a bad demo. But other than that, when we were actually looking at the rules, they were pretty short, pretty concise, and I think they were pretty well done. Uh, I will say there's a really good deal of randomness, like a huge amount of randomness. There is some dice mitigation, well, not really dice mitigation, but spot mitigation. But other than that, because we had one guy who had a beautiful board, just pretty <laughs> much wherever he would, whatever he landed, uh, whenever he got the number he needed or the numbers he needed, it was stars, 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 stars. But his stuff just was not hitting, like no. over and over and over again. And you know how it gets when you're playing a game. It gets to the point where it gets humorous because it's not hitting, and then it gets even more funny when it continues to not hit. And that's the point where he was too, where he had just had this spectacular board for scoring points, but he couldn't just get it. And I ended up winning in a landslide because we kept rolling nine, which was my bread and butter. So there's definitely a good deal of randomness to it, I will say. So uh, a really good thing that I liked about it was that uh, there's really no spots where you're gonna, gonna get nothing. Like, well, there's there's a couple. Okay, you, have to you could, but those are usually what you're gonna upgrade first. Yeah. Like you're gonna you're gonna you can decide that those are the part spaces where you're gonna go, and there's only two of them. And the first time you land there, you get money. Yeah. So, so yeah. The other. Wait. Yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, yeah, so overall I think we both really enjoyed it. I, th I think if this is the kind of game that if I ended up getting it, I think I could see it getting played. 
Uh, from time to time, definitely is a lightweight filler game. Or if you're newer to the hobby and you play, you know, primarily lighter games like the Small Worlds, Ticket to Rides, Pandemics, that sort of thing, I think this would be right up your alley. Sure. Um, I think the artwork is going to get people in. I think the ease of play is going to get people in. And it's just a fun kind of game to just sit around, chill, talk, roll some dice, upgrade your stuff, and uh, hope you get the numbers you need. So in the end, I think we both really enjoyed Foodies coming out from Simon later this year. It looks like it might be your cup of tea. Be sure to check that one out. If you're enjoying what we're doing, please be sure to click on that little Amazon associate link down below. Throws a couple pennies my way. It really does help support the channel. And in the comments below, let me know what is your favorite nationality of foods. Uh, Oh, I love Greek food. Greek food is yep. pretty boss. Uh, I'm going to go with Chinese food, but the American version of Chinese food. <laughs> so Ooh, I did not like Chinese food at all. Oh, man. I, I don't like rice. Well. Though I love rice cereal and rice pudding. Mm. What about rice and roni? No. It's a San Francisco treat. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. That's always thanks for your time, YouTube.